Thanks for purchasing your new dog training system, uh, Pet998 DRB. Now I'm going to show you uh, what's inside the box when you receive it. Uh, so here's your remote transmitter, uh, your two collar receivers, uh, nylon straps uh, for each receiver. You go around the receivers and then attach to your dog's neck. Uh, this is the AC wall adapter uh, for charging, and then this is the charging connector. Uh, which just plugs into the bottom of the AC wall adapter and charges uh, your transmitter and your receivers. Uh, this is the test light uh, used to test the static shock to make sure it's working. And then two sets of contact points for uh, each receiver. And then lastly, a product menu. When using a training collar, always remember to use it for training and not to leave it constantly on the dog, uh, as these contact points on the receiver can cause injuries uh, like bed sores, or we refer to it as pressure narcosis. So always remember to uh, not use the training collar continuously like a normal dog collar, but just for training. I'm now going to show you how to pair your transmitter uh, to your receivers and then just some quick basic uh, functions. Uh, so start off by just pressing the Y button, or any button on your uh, remote except for this light button at the top, uh, just to power it on. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, your first receiver, now look for, there's two uh, holes, look for the one labeled reset hole and just pull that cover back. Uh, make sure you have a pen or a paper clip, something handy just to poke the hole. Uh, poke the hole, you'll get that beep, once you hear that beep, press the Y button on your receiver and it's now synced up, as you can see. Uh, so that's, I have this on uh, number two, channel two, so I'm going to pair the second one uh, to channel one. I switch the channel by pressing the one, two button, and I did the same thing I did for the first one. Uh, find the reset hole, take it back, and then take the pen, push the button, it beeps. Once it beeps, press the Y button and it beeps again, uh, letting you know it's paired. Uh, I'm going to show you the function. You've already seen the vibration function, but I'll show it to you again quickly. I'm on vibration by using the mode button. Press the Y, it vibrates. Uh, switch over to the second one, it's vibrating. Um, and now I'll show you static shock. As you can see, the orange light is glowing when I'm pressing the Y button after switching to static shock. Switch over to the, the first receiver. It's on 10. I'm just going to switch it to 100 just so you can see the light clearly. As you can see, the orange light is glowing. Uh, switch over to uh, the light function, which is on the side. Uh, when I'm pressing the Y button, it just blinks. It's good to locate your dog. Uh, again, I'll do it for the second receiver. Same thing. Uh, use the mode button and switch to the beep function. That's for the second receiver. I'll switch to the first. And there it is again. Um, the last function is a light at the top. Uh, you would use this to maybe if you dropped your keys or you can't find your dog in the dark. Uh, now to turn off these receivers, uh, I'll turn off this first one for you. Uh, let's say if you want to store them for a long time, uh, because if you do turn it off, you will have to repair it if you turn it back on. Uh, so just take a uh, your pen or paper clip or whatever you have, uh, stick it in the hole, and you need to hold it there until that green light goes out. Once that light is out, it's off. Uh, so again, I'll do the second one here. Uh, you only want to do this uh, if you're going to store it for a long time, otherwise they do become unpaired and you have to repair them, as you can see it's off.